Hey, what's up, guys? This is Brian from WhisperStatus74. We're going to do a little comparison video today, and it is on upconversion versus native 4K. Why do this video? Well, I just saw the or played the Black Ops 4 beta a few days ago, and a lot of you, including myself, were very disappointed in just the visuals. Now, when I mean visuals, guys, I don't mean graphics. I don't mean art design. I'm talking about visuals in terms of its clarity, of its resolution. So since we're not talking about graphics and talking about resolution, that's what a lot of this channel and a lot of our comments are about, is 4K, how clean images are, and a lot of us hate grain structure, and when you have a display that you spend a ton of money on, I don't care if it's 40 inches or 80 inches, when you, up, when you upgrade from a PS4 to a PS4 Pro, an Xbox One to an Xbox One X, a lower graphics card to a higher graphics card, in this conversation you're talking about thousands of dollars hours of research so when I put on an image I want it to at least look something like it's 4k now this is Tekken 7 on the PS4 Pro these this game looks the same as on the Xbox One X excellent game by the way but I will tell you when I first popped it in I was horrified by how fuzzy and um, grainy the image is it also has a grain feature that is on, you can't turn it off, the PC version. It's, I have it on on my PC version as well, just to do a like for like. But what I'm talking about when you're looking at an image like this, now remember, this is a 75 inch display, the camera's only about five feet away. It is around his muscles, the back, the blurriness, the aliasing you see, the overall muddiness of the image is something that we shouldn't be seeing. Black Ops 4 is a muddy mess. Battlefield 1 was um, had given a downloaded patch for 4K. It is crystal clear. And now some of you guys in the comments have said, well, it's similar to the PS4 Pro version because that one is 1440p. That I'm telling you, when you get native 4K content, even if it has a dynamic resolution, as long as it hits native 4K, that's when the resolution does matter. Upscaling is merely, and this is what it really kind of is to get rid of all the technical jargon, it is false pixels or like pixels put into the image to fit your screen. Downsampling is when things get cleaned up because you have a 4K image being downsampled to a 1080p image. Then your pixel density, all those things matter, but it cleans it up. Upscaling, to me, is not great in movies, in games, but it's marketed as being this clear, clear thing. Anyway, back to this. I picked up the PC version of Tekken 7. So you guys can see a like-for-like -like comparison, and I was blown away. Um, you may not see it on the camera. I'm hoping you will, but this is the PC version. The clarity is unbelievable. Now, I hope you guys can see the difference, um, but the water in the back is clear. The definition around his muscles, clear. They look like they're jumping off the screen. It's really, the grain is nearly non-existent. And I know the grain structure is still there in these games. I know they're still... Um, the grain is still intact. Fly on my screen. But you can see the, how clear the draw distance. You can get as close as you want to this image, and it's clear. That's what 4K is all about, guys, especially in gaming. We saw that with those 1080p uh, Fortnite on a monitor. You can get really, really close to it. So... What this does is, if you look at the image, especially with the effects, everything is just so clear. The water. On the PS4 Pro, it ends up being a very muddy experience. Now, it doesn't look terrible, but I promise if you were sitting next to me, it would. It just is muddy. It just doesn't look anywhere near as good. Now, again, it's not fair to compare a PS4 Pro, but I'm not talking about frame rate. I'm talking about clarity of image. I'm basically saying 1080p upscale versus 4K is a huge, huge difference, guys. So when you do see a 1080p movie looking a little bit muddy, you don't understand why there's so much noise in the image, or you do look at a game... Um, like Black Ops 4, and you're like, why in the hell does that look so bad? Now this is Devil's Pit. This is a more intensive, very, very grainy 
scene. If you've played this game before on either the Xbox One X or the PS4 Pro, usually at this point the grain structure is so heavy. Again, the grain is present in the background, a little bit on the image, but the muscle tone, everything here is absolutely clear. It is gorgeous. I mean, really, really beautiful. Again, we're not talking PC versus PS4 Pro. What we're talking about here is up conversion versus native. And here's the PS4 version. The noise in the same areas. This is blurry. Floor texture is blurry. It just, if, as I get close to it, all I can see is noise. Static and noise, which has been pretty much everyone's main complaint in 4K. Now, green structure in films, I know we're all cinema files, we have different tastes. In games, it's a better way of seeing, and I, I know it has a grain filter in it, I know that's to hide some of its shortcomings, but it is a night and day difference. I hope it comes through on the camera, it is filming in 4K, so if you're seeing this not in 4K, let YouTube do its thing. Now to reiterate, this isn't GTX 1080 Ti versus PS4 Pro. That would be ridiculous. What the upscaling shows you is in between pixels, that's why you see the noise in the image. That's where not only the grain, but just the way the image just looks fuzzy and muddy. It's a 1080p upscale versus a 4K native image. And it's not just the grain, guys. It's the blocking you see in between the image. These TVs are set up on the same game mode. Nothing is different. Now, it doesn't look that bad on the camera, but you should notice the difference between this and the PC version that I'll show you again in a second. PC version. Now, I think these are on different night-day cycles because obviously the color is different. But regardless of that, look at the figures. How much clearer that is. I'll go to the same menu, which is like for like because it's in the rain, but this one I think is a different night cycle. But again, native 4K versus 1080p upscale. The difference in clarity is, especially with the, the brightest of the images when they, you see them hit each other, on the PS4 Pro it just is a blurry kind of mess. Now is it playable? Of course it's playable, guys. We're not talking about that. We're talking about paying for the best versions that you can, but you're expecting things to be native 4K and you wonder why that that upscale of Call of Duty beta looked so muddy and so washed out. All right, guys, my mistake. That last one was a day-night comparison. This is the night version of that same map, except it's, I guess the rain is broken on my PS4 Pro because there's no rain or there isn't any rain happening. But again, look at this image, and as we go over to the PC version, now, there's going to be rain in the PC version, which I don't know why they're different, but check it out. I mean, just the coloring of the image. Now, minus the rain and everything, but just look how clear. How clear the helicopter. Now, the grain is still present. It's still present. That's part of the presentation. But the fabric on his clothes... The fabric on his clothes. Again, it's not graphics, guys. It's resolution. It's the difference in the resolution between the two titles that's making, you know, all the difference in the world. All right, guys, one last map. Now look at the specular highlights. They're still there, but they just don't look as crisp. Uh, it doesn't look terrible, but comparison to a native 4K image is what we're talking about. Now I'll switch back. Absolutely night and day. Now, why did I do this video is pretty much because of the complaints about the Black Ops 4 beta. If you look at Modern Warfare Remaster on the PS4 Pro, it blows that out of the water. So, I know it's just a beta, guys, but when you're wondering why those graphics are so muddy, it's because you're looking at a 900p or a 1080p upscale. So, um, again, not being negative, just stating what the facts are. Native 4K versus an upscale, that's why you see upscales looking so muddy and just so blurry and dull. 
Thank you as always, guys.